So today we're going to be swapping a original SRAM uh, brake lever for one of our printed titanium brake levers. Um, it's a very simple job, but you're going to need a few tools to do it. You can do it whilst the brakes are still on the bicycle. Um, you're going to need a small pry or screwdriver. You're going to need some needle nose pliers, they're really helpful. A 2.5 millimeter Allen key and a three millimeter Allen key as well. So we're gonna start by using the 2.5 millimeter Allen key and we're gonna be trying to access the reach adjust bolt underneath the lever. It's a bit hard to find. There is actually a little channel that you can uh, wiggle around to get to it. So uh, slightly counterintuitively, you're going to need to tighten this bolt and it will probably help if you hold the lever outwards as you tighten, keep turning until you hear the thread disengage. It should make a click sound. And what you'll note, there it goes. And if I take the Allen key out, there we go. The lever has now disengaged with the thread that attaches to the piston at the top of the lever. Next thing we're going to need to do is take out the bolts that are holding the lever in place. There's one side is uh, flush with the edge of the lever body, the other side is slightly recessed. The recessed one is the one that we're going to be undoing. You're going to need a 3mm Allen key for that. The other side has got a feature that holds it in place. So if you turn the other side what you'll find is that it'll resist being loosened. Once you've got it all the way disengaged, you can then use it to push the other side out. Oops. There you go. And if you have a look on this side, we can see it's pushed this locked bolt loose free. I'm gonna slide it slightly back, because what we now need to do is remove that bolt. You'll notice it has a little red bushing on it and then you can use the Allen key to remove the other side. And once we take these out, remembering which side is which, pop that to the side. Once that comes out, it will free up the lever body or the lever from the body. So the lever body will separate from the lever. And if you turn it around, have a good look at it, you can see the electrical cable runs through this piece of cable routing at the top need to pay attention to that when you reassemble. You need to make sure it goes through that hole. And all that's holding it in place at the moment is this uh, pin here and this spring. The spring will come out with a bit of a wiggle. If you grab it with some needle nose pliers and then wiggle the lever, it'll come out and put that safely to the side. And then what we need to do is remove this um, barrel here. There's a pin holding, in, holding it in place which needs to be removed first. You can access the back of the pin by opening up the lever and it's just this one inside here. It's an uh, interference fit so to remove it you'll need to put something flat on the back. You may just be able to give it a push. There you go. And you can now see that the top of the pin is proud. You might find that you need to give it a knock um, with a, a small hammer. Um, use um, a punch or something like that so that you're not hitting the actual lever body. Then using a pry or similar, just lift the pin, pull it out halfway. If you accidentally pull it out all the way, you can reassemble it, but it's just a bit easier if you keep it engaged. That will free up this barrel. You can use something to push it out to the side outboard of the bike and then once this barrel is removed we'll be able to take away the original lever. I'm going to find my titanium lever and I want to make sure that the cable sits inside that routing channel. I'm going to slide the new lever over the top so we're going to reinsert the barrel. 
make sure it pushes through both sides. Then we're going to push the pin at the back, back into place. The last little bit, we really just need to push with something hard, or again, you could give it a little tap with a hammer. You want to make sure that, the, um, that it sits flat uh, on that surface. Once that's in place, your lever body just needs its spring put uh, back. It's a bit of a fiddle this. You might find it easiest to get the spring onto the pin on the lever first and then push the shifter into the housing with it in place. We're then going to re-engage uh, the threaded part um, with the lever adjust nut. So what I'm gonna do is put the Allen key through the lever adjust hole and it should poke out the top. I can then engage the uh, throw adjust, slide it into place and turn the Allen key anti-clockwise until you feel that the lever is attached to the thread. That's gonna make it easier to reinstall our um, bolt. We're gonna to have to remove the little red bushing. We can get rid of that, we don't need those anymore. And we're going to um, make sure that we place them back in, in their original um, configuration. So the um, anti-rotational one on the outside of the lever in relation to the bike and the, um, the other one in the other side. Make sure the lines, make sure you line up the holes on the lever. Might take a bit of a wiggle to get them in place. And then once you've got them both in, you can use your three millimeter Allen key to tighten them Tighten it down. You can hold this one in place with your thumb to stop it from rotating and the little grooves in it will bite down into the plastic body. This will lock out at a certain point. Almost there, I can feel it pulling into the body on the other side. There you go, and it's locked out. So all we need to do now is pull that lever forwards, find that slightly tricky reach adjustment bolt. So I'm going to rotate the Allen key and the lever is now being uh, pulled back up just like when you adjust the reach on your levers and you can just adjust those to your preferred position. Something around there for me, take that out cap back on top of the hoods and give it a quick test. Make sure it's shifting and if, you're, if everything's working then that's the job complete.